Hi guys, I have more declutterings for you. Today I'm combining three brands again. So I have Square Hue and this is all I have. I don't have a whole lot because I constantly declutter them and I only keep the ones that are really unique. And also I have Julep and Deborah Lipman. So I don't have a whole lot in you know each of the brands so I figure I can combine them again. So let's just get started with Square Hue. Most of them honestly are pretty unique shades, so I really don't expect myself to get rid of a whole lot. So for example, those two, I think those three are on my uh, fall nail polish racks. And look at those colors. Aren't they just kind of like different and unique? This nudie one is Toke, and this green one is Valor. And this like really dark brick red is Scorched Summer, keeping them. And there are a few shimmery ones. Look at them, look at the screen. I don't think I have ever seen anything like that. So for sure, I'll keep this. This is Rapunji. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Um, a lot of their names are really hard to say. So you can see it right there. I'm keeping this one. This really shimmery, like deep purple color. Isn't that pretty? I'll keep it as well. And this is the name of it. This one is kind of like a sheer base, clear base. You can see that it separates a little bit. It needs to be shaken up. And it's just a champagne-y kind of shimmer color. It's very pretty. And this is Arctic Frost. I'll keep this one. I think I'll let those two go. I think both of them are actually new. Yeah, both of them are from, I think, June of this year. I mean, they're both very pretty colors, but I don't think they're that unique. Especially this blue is strange. It's new, but it separates really bad. I think I'm sure I can find dupes, so I'll let those two go. Here is a black. This is crazy enough. I think the only black I have in my collection, so I'm keeping that. This is Iron Horse. A few more colors that are really fitting for the fall. Like, look at those. Aren't they just gorgeous? And they're different, you know? They're not like the shades you would see every day. I mean, like, this brand really has a lot of jams. The first one is Savannah Sundowner. I'll keep this one. It's kind of like a, a greenish brown. It's so beautiful. And this one is like a oil slick. Yep, and the color is oil slick. I'll keep it. And this green one, look at that. It's so beautiful. This is Patty's Pine. The one I dropped is a reddish brown, also keeping that. Then we've got a few brighter colors. This one is a teal green. I think it's pretty unique. I'll keep it. It is not tuck it. This is a really deep bright pink. I think the camera isn't really picking up the brightness of it. And I'll keep this one as well. And it's Day Glow. Those are just strange colors. <laughs> like ugly pretty, you know? I think I'll keep them both. And this one is Collins Avenue. And the green one is Grassland Safari. Last three now. I think I'll try this one out and decide. Because this is a silver, like, linear hollow. But I don't think the hollow is that obvious. Um, this is Times Square. I honestly don't remember how it performs, so I have to try it on and decide. And then I have this yellow. I recently just used it too. I love it. This is Bikini Beach. And then this shimmery gold color, it is Honor. Um, you know, I think I'll let this one go because it's not that unique. I'm sure I have dupes of this. Yeah, I'll let it go. So I'm letting go of three bottles, and here this one, I have to try it out and decide. All right, let's do juleps now. Um, I have quite a few juleps. <laughs> let's see. Um, I think I'll keep those two. They're both very bright, but kind of like a little different, you know, kind of bright. The pink one is Anne, and the blue one is Isabella. I love them both. I'll keep them. This is Julep Manda. I recently wore it, I think, in June nail polish of the month. Um, the formula isn't great at all. Like, it's really hard to work with, so I think I'll let it go. Some shimmery colors. I think they're gorgeous. I'll keep them. This one has a lot of, like, really red glitters in it. I'm not sure if you can pick it up, but I think they're gorgeous. So this one is Love, and this one, I lost a sticker, so I don't know what it is. But I'll keep them both. Those are some of my older ones, and I honestly really enjoy them. The first one is a like lavender-ish kind of metallic color. This one is Maria. I think I'll keep this one. Um, those two, I'm pretty sure I'll keep as well, even though I do want to pan this soon. I just, it's not the most unique out there. You know what? I think I'll just let it go rather than panning it. Why? You know? I have similar shades. I'll just let it go. And I used a lot of it already. And yeah, that one's going. 
This really deep blue color is Michelle. I love it, so I'll keep that. A few more here. I just decided to add this in my project polish. This is Morgan. I love the color. I'll pan it this year. Those are some of the cooler colors. This one reminds me a lot of Zoya Beth, but I think this one is a little bit warmer than Beth, but it's very pretty, isn't it? And the color is K. I'm keeping it. This is a kind of like really cool toned um, bluish gray, and the color is Erin. I also love that. And this is a really dusty deep blue, and the color is Nedra. I think I'll keep all three of them. Those few are kind of like my newer additions. I think I've been just kind of feeling a color like that. It's just this kind of like goldish green color and they're all dual chromey. I think I'll keep all of them. So the colors here, we have Harlow, uh, Francine, Jonah, and Daly. They're all very pretty. And I have already worn Daly. Daly is really thick of a formula. It's a little like painful to work with, but the finish is beautiful. So I'm keeping them. I think I'll let this one go. It's still in the box, but you can see it's pretty similar to Zoya Morgan. Morgan is more purple, this one is more pink, but I honestly just don't think I need this, so I'll let this one go. Two more that are still in their boxes. I think this one is a really deep red glitter. It's pretty, I'll keep it. This is a really kind of like light minty green shade. I'll have to try it out and see if the formula is good because colors like this tend to have really bad formulas. If the formula is good, I'm keeping it. If not, I'll get rid of it. Here I got a few more like nudish colors. They're all very pretty. Uh, look at this one. It's a little dual chromey almost. You can see that shift right there. And the color is Wilma. I'm keeping that. This one I recently wore. It's a kind of like a matte finish. It's very unique because it's matte and the color is Janet. And this one I also recently wore. It is color Jadra. It has a hollow... Um, shift in it, but it doesn't really look hollow on your nails. It just looks like a mauve nude color. I like it by itself, so I don't mind the hollow doesn't show through. Here is more like a metallic color. This says Penny. I love it, so keeping those four. All right, the last six here. Um, honestly though, well, I think I'll get rid of this one. This is a dusty grayish blue color. It's really deep. The color is Darla. It's nothing really unique, so I'll let this one go. And the rest of them, I think I'll keep all of them. Those two are newer to my collection. I think this one came from my September box and it's a really pretty like deep purple but with a really bright uh, fuchsia red kind of shift. This one is a hollow blue. It looks promising, but I haven't tried it, so I'll keep them both. And those three are all pretty unique. This is a glitter color. It's a greenish gold. The color is Tazine, and we have this one like isn't that like hard to describe the color is Marika and the last one is a really fiery red and the color is Carmen. I'm keeping them All right last we have my Deborah lip mans I think about more than half of my Deborah lip mans are actually glitter toppers So those are only the ones that are not glitter toppers. I don't have a whole lot of them because they're freaking expensive but let's see, I have two right here. I didn't get rid of the boxes just because they look pretty in their boxes, you know? I'll keep them both. I love them. This one is Cleopatra in New York. Of course, everyone knows about that. I'm keeping it for sure. This is just a kind of like really surprisingly good polish. I never heard anyone talk about it, but it's kind of like a dual chrome shifting from orange to red and it has those golden glitters inside. It's so pretty. The color is, geez, I don't know how to say this. Marrakesh Express, right there. All right, some more here. Actually, I think I'll let this one go. It's just, I'll never use a frosty pink like that. You know, this is the color whatever Lola wants. Yeah, this one's going. Those two I both love. This purple color is very similar to Wet n Wild through the grape wine. It's gorgeous formula. I love it. I'm keeping it. This is between the sheets, this purplish one. And then we have this darker red color. This is through the fire. It's really deep but bright at the same time. It's really interesting and pretty. I'll keep it. Some blues here. Um, this one is a little bit more interesting. It has a shimmer and it has some like really fine glitters inside. Some fine blue glitters and silver glitters. It's worth keeping for sure. This is Mermaid's Eyes. And this blue is just kind of like... Uh, I think I'll keep it. <laughs> this is on the beach. 
but it's nothing unique, you know, and it's actually similar to this one that I just got rid of. Um, I mean, they're a little different, but eh, I don't know. I'll keep it. Couple more shimmery glittery colors. This one is a hot fuchsia with a lot of like glitter inside. Can you see that? It's really pretty. This is Flash Dance, keeping that. And this one is a much darker maroony red color and it has a lot of shimmery inside. This is Good Girl Gone Bad. I'll keep that one as well. I think maybe I'll pan it next year. I think I'll do that. Yeah, I'll pan that. I think I'll try to pan this next year as well. Am I like planning ahead <laughs> too far now? <laughs> We're still in 2017, but yeah, it's a nude. Nothing could go wrong with it, right? So I'll pan it next year. This is fashion. Last two now. This is a really pretty minty color. Like it's nothing special color wise, but I think I'll keep it. The color is flowers in her hair. It's just really pretty in this little bottle too, you know, so I'll keep it. And the last one here is kind of like almost neon-ish dark orange color. This is Don't Stop Believing. Mm, I like it. I'll keep it. All right, so those are all the colors I'm getting rid of now. So I have eight bottles I'm getting rid of, and there are two I have to try out to decide. One is from Square Hue, one is from Julep. Um, I just need to see how they perform on the nails before I actually make a decision. So we'll see about that. So I at least got rid of eight, and I'm happy about that. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.